Now, fit that, no. All of you, little, come closer because I can't turn them every time. Because they, the beauty disappears. Come back, little, stay. Come back, come back. Move the mat. Move the mat here so that they can see. And now you can see better if I take them back. And now, come on. And now you see the Tadasan again. They are, back, they, are, they are doing their old Tadasans. Uh, what did I teach you now, present Tadasan? What did I teach you? Did I say move the foot forward, backward to adjust the per, uh, perineum? Adjust the perineum? Hmm. Now, just the back of the head, just the back of the heel, are they perpendicular? Or parallel to each other? Now, I will just take the shoulder blade forward, take the floating blade backward. What happened now? At least he got something now. Come on again, try. Can you see how difficult it is to do? Again, do it. Do it, I say, again. Can you see now? In the breathing, how soon the body goes back and lose the power of attention. Now here also. Now you can observe. He has adjusted this. But has he adjusted the center of the buttock bone? Has he been the knee out? Come on. See, he does not know. Now look at his shape. The shape of his buttock, shape of his leg. I will touch and see the shape of the leg. Don't, don't play any, follow me just. Roll in. This also. Now what happened to the top leg? Don't worry about here. Because now you observe here. Can you see the difference? Because he has grease in his leg, so I can't grip it. Can you see now? So I cannot turn because he's sleeping. Can you see now? What happened here you can observe. Now, say, same movement I'm giving. Now, here also. Can you see the difference? Thinking that they may not do it. Now, what I do, this is the collarbone. Lift the collarbone gradually without disturbing. Now you can see the color changes. Only collarbone without lifting the fingers. And come on. See the color changing. The deep red color is changing now. Come on. Now what they are doing, it's very interesting to know. If I tell you, when they are adjusting, they are moving the skull forward and backward. Now I, you can see, just I touch. Now, now bring the color bone. Can you see now? Now they can't move their heads at all. Because my touch is so firm, so stable, they cannot move. See, I'm taking. Can you see the color? So still he's moving towards him. Can you move the energy from the front band to the back brain? Front brain to the back brain? No, no, he did a bit. He tried. Similarly, front brain to the back brain. And now come down. And now I do it. Whether, look whether my ears become red. See the redness? Can you see? So all these things we have to see. After finishing the head balance, let me see my face. Why it has become red? Before that it was not red. That means when they were doing, they were breathing, not natural breathing, but blocking their tongue, pulling their tongue deep into the throat, they were breathing. But did you know that? Huh? Did you know how you are breathing? Were your tongue light or heavy? Heavy. Can you see now? So because the tongue was heavy, the face, the neck, everything became red. And you have to learn why it is red. Where am I breathing? Now do Shishasana again. Keep your tongue passive. 
go up without using the tongue. When the legs go up, am I lifting my leg with the tongue or am I lifting the legs with my legs? <laughs> they know how to know. Uh, they ask them how they go, went up. They don't know. Ask them, they don't know what your tongue did when your legs went up. Huh? Huh? <laughs> now I will tell them. They don't know. I, I have to tell them. Come on, interlock your fingers, head down. Now your tongue does not touch the upper palate. Go up without touching the upper palate. Try to go without touching the upper palate every now and then. Measure. Feel the tongue. See, the moment the tongue becomes thick, you are lifting with the tongue. Relax the tongue. Relax the tongue. Now see the differences it makes. Can you see the colors change? Huh? So they did Shishasan, not with their head, but with their tongue. Understood now? <laughs> they may be masters. For you, follow now? But for me, they have to still raw students for me. Because they have not understood the depth inside. Relax your tongue again. So they are still touching the tongue. Because the habit doesn't go in a, in a, in a two days. Tone, relax the tongue, passive tongue. Now, is the breathing different or the same type? Huh? Better. Can you see now? And that's why the blood pressure increases and the doctor says, Oh, don't stop head balance. But these people don't know that your pupils who have got blood pressure, that they are keeping the tongue intense. And now come down. And now you can see anywhere. You can see my head also. When you interlock your fingers, you hold like this. Space is the same. No difference at all. And now you can see my lumbar is forward. My thoracic dorsal is towards you, lumbar is towards the wall. Now learn from the trapezium muscles how I adjust. Did you see the difference? So that's how you have to learn. Now can you all try? Is there a ladder here? Good. I've got one more still of no small one. Small film. I start learning head balance. Can you see now? Then, when I have to come down. I learned. Out of going up, out of coming down, out of balancing. Where that lady who is going the some heaviness. Can she come here? Who asked me yesterday? Not you. Aged lady. Ah, you asked me, not something. In your case, you are afraid to do, to make her do a head balance. Come on, do it. Keep the head down. One leg there, one leg here, between the chairs, two stools. Just wait, just wait. Climb up one by one. Keep that. Okay, fish. Can you see now? So now, the way in which I made it to go on the ladder, there is no load on the brain. So I kept the brain in the original state and I made it to climb up and go. And now touch your leg one by one, dead. Now her brain, um, was there any tension in the tongue? Absolutely no. And now some others can try. She watch your tongue. Do she Some others, not you. You're done. <laughs> 
Now what's your tongue? Tip of the tongue. Now go up. Now what happened to the tip of the tongue? Huh? What? Bend your knee. What happened? Tell them. Went hard. Can you see now? So now give that there. And keep, and keep her like step by step. Don't do like her. Because I, I said as a beginner I'm teaching. And she went straight, kept one leg and went up. Can you see now the differences? Eh? So even if I teach, they don't want to follow the style. And now was there tension in your tongue? And now can you see? Now bring the one leg one by one. Now watch your tongue. Now was there any tension in the tongue? Now you understand, now I'll give you the spiritual practice. Even if you do sit in meditation, if your tip of the tongue is hard, it's no meditation at all. So you can, yeah, you can tell in the world that I'm meditating, Falana, because when the tongue is doing the job which the brain is made to keep quiet. But the tongue is active, Falana, as the tongue is active, that is no meditation at all, because it's a, tongue is considered as a sense of perception. So sense of perception, when he says or he is in action. So he does not receive the message. It is acting. Whereas sense of perception are meant to receive, not to act. Organs of action are meant to act. Sense of perception are meant to receive. So when we do Shirshasana, find out now whether you are done. Those who cannot do it, they can do near the wall. Now another method of doing. Come here. Can I move this a little bit? Is there any other wall? Ah, take this. Those who have not done Shishasan, please come here. Those who have not done. Come. Those who have not done at all. Who want? Ah, come. Interlock your fingers between these two. Ah, elbows inside. Walk in. Give me one leg. Touch your back there. Relax. Don't do anything in the beginning. Take the stomach back and take this elbow inside. Now, this corner is the middle portion of the body. You understand? Suppose we do in the wall. You may be here. You don't know. Or you may be going to the other side of the wall. You don't know. But here, you can't commit a mistake. Because you, every now and then, you can go back and measure the center of the tailbone. Is it touching the wall or not? So that is the, this corner is meant only to guide whether you are doing the pose accurately or not. Now come down. Hey, Veronica, you come. Do Shishasana. Independently. I am educating you. I am educating you, then I will no, do that first time, as you are doing. Now, is the leg, is the shirshasan straight? Is the position accurate? Where are the legs? Now, that means she has to struggle. You can see her throat. Because the leg is forward, the throat, yes, he is taking the load. So, how to give the sense of direction? Come down, do that. Because I corrected this morning, she knows otherwise, and do that. Now, where, is the legs are educated or not? She was like this, now the legs get educated. Now she need not spread, she can just touch between the two heels. Uh, now she knows which side your body is tilted. Can you say now? Come on, adjust. The touch will tell you. The touch will tell you. Now what did she do? She brought this inside. Can you see now? Otherwise she was going that way. Now the touch of the heel, the touch of the heel in the corner will tell you which side the muscles have to rotate, which side the legs have to rotate. Come on. Can you see she's struggling to come in? 
so education comes. Now, on account of her size, she tucks the buttock back. Now, because of the wall, the buttock cannot go back at all, even if she wants to go back. Because the wall is stronger than her hips. <laughs> now, extend your arms, tuck in the buttocks. Now, see, she is tucking out. Tuck in, I say. Uh, maximum, tuck in. Can you say that tucking in, tucking out, tucking in, tucking out has to come. Then you understand. And now, Sandra, you do it. I'm purposely taking, and there, this way, facing, head this way. And now, is it taking in or taking out? Huh? The buttocks? Huh? Out. Now ask him to take in. Can you see how difficult it is to know? Huh? Is he taking in or still taking out? You can see here the law. I said the buttock should be tucked in. And now you come down. Huh? Now see. Come on. Now I am doing it. Take out the buttocks. Take in the buttocks. Take out the buttocks. Take in the buttocks. Even though I am moving the line. Now I don't move the line. Take out. Take in. Take out. Take in. Can you see now? So this way of measuring your inner body is essential when you are doing the asanas. We don't measure. So if you all do it, then you know what is mental discipline, what is intellectual discipline in asana. We don't do it. Just like all other, other anger yoga teachers, they do, they say, then asanas we do just for the sake of health. But when you start doing like that, then you realize it has nothing to do with health. It is something more. Now when you go, some of you may or the gap. Some of you bend like this. Okay. Now see, the buttock has tucked in. Is it not? I'm sorry, tucked out. Now to raise the knees, I tuck in. I tuck out. I tuck in. The legs move. Can you see now? So, coordination movement. You have to coordinate the movement regarding the tailbone. When the tailbone should go back, then the shell will come in. When the tailbone should go back, then the tailbone should come in. Then you learn going to Shirshasana without any problem. But you jump. You are like this. You plan. <laughs> I don't plan. So immediately I tuck in. Can you see now? I tuck in, tuck in, tuck in, tuck in, tuck in. And then I go. And then when I bend, I tuck out, I tuck out, I tuck out, I come back. Understood now? <laughs> now try. Huh? So this is known as the hidden, hidden energy of the body which does not give you any guide. So you have to tap the energy, inner energy, in which direction they have to move. Now, now those who cannot do it, they can do near the wall. Menstruation, they can, except Uttanasana, they can't do anything, Adomukashwanasana or something. Ah. Uh, just wait. It's a neck injury. Now, I am showing you. Just wait. All of you see here. Anatomically, her neck is short. Hey, Juni, come here. Uh. Anatomically, her neck is longer. Stay, stay, stay. No, thank you, stand. You can't. Uh. Uh, can you see this neck and can you see the neck? So the medical, the, the yogis don't see, the medical man also doesn't see. Now in the moment I complained, I saw. Can you see now the differences? So this is also anatomically wrong, this is also anatomically wrong. 
<laughs> well, they have to live with it. Actually, that's what the doctor says. No, I say no. You live with it, but at the same time, learn to, to exercise in which way if you get, you get the normal neck. And now, she's, uh, you have done head balance before? Yes. Uh, no, Why? Right? Because of the neck pain. She was Thank doing. Uh, uh, now in her, I take a wrong pose. You understood now? Now come on to head balance there. Mm -hmm. On the platform. Like everybody can see. Huh? You know, long, long ago, he has forgotten you long, long ago, then why should he marry again? Or why should she be married again? You understand what I said? Try again. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, balance. <laughs> now she, she is. What I do, I take a little wrong path. Now come up. See, she is going back. I said, tuck in immediately. Tuck in, see the neck works. Tuck in. Mm. And now leg straight. Hey, somebody has to catch him. Don't move, fingers also back a little. Uh, now, have I made the neck long or short? Mm. So if my interest is, she's doing, going, see, go back, this bone back. Back, back, this is front. Still back. And now you can see the correct pose and neck is also elongated. Mm -hmm. And now you can come down. That way she has to do it. Huh? That's for you to search. <laughs> <laughs> you, have to, you have to work with others. Follow? So that I got the pill immediately, instant pill, then I can work on it. If my, she asked me, I did it. So I, I did my homework. And you don't want to do homework, you want me the instant answer so that you can play with others. So you try. <laughs> ah, come on. And now any others have like that head balance problem? Huh? Oh, what? <laughs> and you come. You come first. Because you had asked me before. Hmm. What is wrong? Uh, now see, first of all, when you do Shirshasan, before Shirshasan, there's a convex area. Even in her case also, where is that lady? Anatomically we see. Can you see? Anatomically we see. Now, uh, do head balance. Have you got the two sticks? Pick anyone. Whereas the shoulder blade has to move downwards. It does not move downwards. So even if I uh, do Shishasana for the time being. Well, don't disturb. Come with me. See, I did not disturb the shoulder blades which I kept here. So the shoulder blade has gone in or taking out now? Taking in. Can you see now? Now sometimes we educate them to learn. Uh, wait, wait. And now look at the shoulder blades. What are we doing? We are pushing towards the lower waist. Hold the cloth. Amen. Leave the stick. Now observe how I manipulate. Can you see the manipulation? Mm -hmm. Then no problems at all. <laughs> now was there any pain now? No. Now can you see now? Hmm. Only one more because I, everybody will come, I am wrong, I am wrong, I am wrong. <laughs> I can't give special for everybody. Come, let me see. Oh, you also come, you also come. Let me see both of you. Just stand. Mm. 
and just stand I said, head up. And now only I have to find out whom I should take and whom I should not take. <laughs> Otherwise, I can take both. That is a different matter. But this class is not meant for them. This class is meant for you all. Then they can come to Pune, then we will work there. Palana individually. But the shoulders are all right, the head is not all right. You understood now? So anatomy, I am teaching how to see, how to see when the students come. Now naturally, this is not a big problem for anyone. That is definitely a difficult problem. Because the shoulders are parallel, hold your hair somewhere. No, you can't hold, because if you hold it, they can. Can you see this portion and this portion? So scoliosis comes like this. Can you understand? Ankylosis or whatever you may call it. <laughs> yeah. You want to see the other side? Just say. So sorry, please, I'm not taking you. <laughs> can you understand now? Now turn here. Now you can see. This is thick, this is thin. Anatomically, how we have to look. We have to look so many things. Pardon? Oh, you are in the middle, my friend. <laughs> Now, this is, you can observe, this is thin, this is thick. So, she is not using the weak part, she is using everything from the strong part. So, this muscle has become harder and harder, on account of that, it sinks. So, the disease comes more and more. Now, this is the crown of the head. Can you see now? This skull, scalp is higher, this is lower. See, you are all, I am seeing only for one second, and you are all seeing several times. You are meeting, you are seeing. <laughs> huh? But I have not, I have seen only once, and I have understood the mistake. And now, have you got a handkerchief? <laughs> Nobody has got a handkerchief. Huh? Yes. Not small, thick. Okay, join both the two. One more. Here, now somebody showed me, now. I said, please give. Her skull is not bent so much for the use of her. Huh? Ah, now stand erect. What happened now? That skull and this skull is parallel or not? Huh? Ah, now do Shirshatam. Very direct. Yeah. And now this too. Ah, lift us somebody. Take us. And now, where is this base of this skull? Where is the base of the skull? Which is high, which is down? This eye, this is down. Can you see now? Ah. Now bring her down. Okay. So you are the luckiest people to get this knowledge, which cannot come soon. Come on. Mm, what? Mm, now what happened to the skull? Can you see now? Eh? And now, I have to, because I have just kept it, now I have to see actually whether I kept it or not. See, I did not keep it. Can you see now? <laughs> you said all better. Lift her in the air. <laughs> now go down. And now leave her. And now you can see. Lift the shirt. Now. Can you see now? I have taken this higher than this now? Yes, yes, yes. Huh? Yes. Because that I have to develop that part. I have to give the extension. So I am giving a slight overextension so that it develops the intensity of stretch later. Now understand the art of teaching? Yes. Huh? Now see, everything is perfect. Can you see the line? She has to learn because she is a beginner, she cannot balance. But we see, there is no 
disturbance in her neck. Now you can see the shoulder blades also are parallel. Even the muscles, can you see the trapeziums have come up? And it is thin. Which was thick, I made it thin. And now come down. And now try all of you. <laughs> How can we overcome their problem? Huh? How can we overcome them? It is there. Can't you see that? No, no, no. I mean, I'm a... You I'm see a... that, is it not? Mm -hmm. Have you seen what I've done? Yes, yes. Then why did I keep it? I don't mean the problem in a headstone. I mean the problem generally of one... That, that's why. Uh, see, you want quick answers again. Follow? No. Because you don't know the logics. You don't know to think even. When she does head balance without blanket, what does it happen to the skull? She presses or, or just extends. When you do Shishasan, you press or you release. Press. What did I do? I kept it so that she may not press to the ground. Can you see your way of thinking? Huh? So the skull does not go down because that, that, there is that. How can she press that? So she has to press the other one. So the other one goes down and you find the level. Mm -hmm. What? Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 to her neck will pain. Just the one, but three. Yes, that. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Mm, come on. Watch your tongue when you are going up. Even the teacher. Can you, without using the tongue, can you go up? Hey, you have to see the other way, no? You have to see where people are also at the same time. No. They can use it, they can use it, let them use it. Now, come on. And now, if the intelligence is touching the base of the rib, the base of the rib should be taken back. There should be no brushing, brushing of your intelligence on the frontal surface of the ribs or on the back surface of the ribs. Take back the intelligence the body moves. Take back the intelligence from the, from the frontal ribs. To move the intelligence, you have to lift the inner deltoids and then you have to take the ribs back. Uh, then the intelligence moves away from the periphery and goes into the center. Uh, now, the inner elbow head should be on the floor. So if the inner elbow does not touch, the elbows are widened. So you have to crawl or walk in with one by one elbow. And watch your fingers. Watch your tongue every now and then. Watch your tongue. Relax your tongue. The edges of the tongue, the center of the tongue should be complete, particularly the edges and the tip of the tongue. Don't protrude the tongue when in, sh when in Shavasana or when you sleep. Hey, who is the teacher there? She is not doing it all number. You are here. Could you not tell her to do faster? Standing on the head alone? Take it back, tie muscles. Not the cough. This is the cough muscle. And move the tie muscles back. See, in the back leg, the flesh, the flesh has to prick the skin. And in the front leg, the skin should prick the flesh. Suck the skin. The skin of the front leg should be pushing the flesh back. And the flesh should be pushing the skin at the back out. It is going forward. Suck in the skin. Draw the skin downwards, front leg, and back leg skin ascending. Back leg skin ascending. Take the stomach, pelvic, pelvic girdle back, pelvic girdle back, pelvis back. I said, if I say one, it stands for all. Can you see now? Back. Do Tarasana, I said, perpendicular pose. 
from the side of the armpit. Measure your knee mentally. So where is the knee? Where is the armpit? So armpit, center of the armpit and the side of the middle knee should run parallel to each other. I said the back leg flesh should hit the skin, stretch the skin, and the frontal skin should, should massage the flesh to move backwards. I said many of you tuck the buttock in, tuck in, tuck in without taking the legs back. Don't oscillate the legs. Tuck in please, this is tucking out, this is tucking in. Still you have to your English. The fingers should be moving, right finger should be moving to the left, left finger should be moving to the right. Elbows have to come closer to each other. Uh, every time when you breathe, the elbows go out. So you have to again bring them to their original position. Now suck this socket, outer socket, into the inner socket and stretch the inner leg. Inner leg, you have to feel the sensation of the stretch on the inner legs. Inner legs from the groin shoot up like an arrow. My friends, how many times I said, tuck in, this is tucking out. Tuck in. Say, she is tucking out. Can you say now? Learn to tuck in the buttocks. First of all, learn that because the tailbone does not get correct action. Say, this is tailbone in, that means, hey, this is tucking out, back is tucking out, going in, tucking in. I don't know this language, this is English, pure English. Tucking in and tucking out is pure English, not even in Indian English. In Indian English it's but at back, but at forward, inside, so that's all we say. A roll, the frontal leg, the frontal leg should be closer to the other leg. Roll circularly in and from the measure the head of the socket of the femur in line and stretch in such a way that the thigh bone ends exactly in the middle of the inner knee, center of the knee, center of each knee. The bone should run. You should measure the gut width and the knee and the bone should be exactly one inch behind, one inch here, one inch here, one inch here, you should go in. Then you get the action. Move in. Contract the outer edges of top leg to move inwards. Outer leg, side outer legs to move in. Shoulder blades in, shoulder blades in. And if you find little shaky, the head of the trapezium muscles which is nearer the neck should be ascending. And move the trapezium deep into the inner shoulder blade. Inner shoulder blade. I said, if the elbows are out, you should be taken in. With your eyes, you should see if they are too broad. The eyes are there to see whether the elbows have gone out or in. And now, without disturbing, I said in Shirshasana, the anus should be higher than the perineum. So, anal mouth should be lifted. is too much forward. He is bringing the ribs. That means she is doing that is physical shirshasana. Here, here, can you see now? This is physical shirshasana. See, back, can you see now? Over extension is also wrong, under extension is also wrong. And now, suck the socket inwards. Suck, why did you go the opposite direction? Oh, you are the teacher, okay. Suck in and then extend the inner leg fibers to be higher than the outer leg. Inner fibers of the leg should move higher and higher. Tuck, tuck in again, but tuck. tuck in. See, you are tucking it. This is, what are you doing here? Now come out here. Out. Ah. Good. Let them come down. Come down.
Just come here. Who has got back problems or pain in the back? Pain in the back? Oh, you fast. Only one or two is enough. I, want, I don't want hundred people. I know you are all problems. Not one is free. Ah. Uh, those who are bad, come here. <laughs> One can come here. Uh, yes, I am showing you. Come, remove your T-shirt. I will see whether, whether he is telling the truth or not. Uh, now, if you observe, can you all see? Stand up, please. Stand up on the one. Stand up on the top. Uh, you go down. Uh, one spinal canal and the other spinal canal, they are not running parallel, you can see. Near this pillar, opposite to that pillar. Keep your head there, is no emotional contact at all. As I saw in the class, stand on your head, keep your head down. Uh, now stretch your legs, turn the muscles in. Your heels are not correct, can you see now? So this is intellectual explanation. But the teacher doesn't see. Just give away uh, to show that I can explain more. But whereas this is a quite different act class because they cannot go wrong when we start like that. So even in my absence, they know that they can do well. So that's the advantage. So you have, you have to touch man to man the art of teaching, not technical. It's a subjective technique, the others are all objective techniques. Objective techniques is external. This is subjective technique, so it has to go mind to mind, not from brain to brain. Mm. Yoga is mind to mind, not brain to brain. So each movement you have to observe has that mind absorbed. Brain is existing here, but mind exists everywhere. For the simple reason, if there is a, if a, if a needle touches, uh, you do like that, is it not? The brain is too far. So why it gets instantly? Because the mind at that time comes to the surface. It's hidden there. So practice of yoga says the mind is engulfing the entire body. It is dormant. So when you do the asana, see that it is awakened from dormant state. And that's why even we are teaching, you have to teach from heart to heart, not head to head. Keep this as the real art of teaching, heart to heart, not from head to head. That's what she asked. What about tomorrow? Fala, head to head. <laughs> hmm? Heart to heart, I said, the other side is compressed, so it comes to the level of the weaker side. And now Sarvangasana, come on. Now, bring those four blankets here, who, some others can come. 